this video we will continue our discussion about their uh, 3D 3D biologically developed extracellular matrix that composed of PA that is peptide amphiphiles and extracellular matrix is a combination of these two and it can be used uh, to grow pancreatic cancer cells uh, however in order to validate their design uh, they need to they did the, they did some experiment where they use the pancreatic cancer cell patients and grow them in the in their own design PAECM matrices so how they did that is shown in the panel a where they have double where they have prepared their own uh, 3d bioengineered matrices using e3 pa uh, peptide amphiphiles and mix it with this uh, fiber which is self assembly at high temperature so, so they heat it at 30 minute it heated for 30 minutes at 80 degree and simultaneously they took the patients uh, they took the samples from the patients pdac patients so patients that are affected with the pancreatic cancer cells and also uh, through this mouse, mouse models that is the patient derived uh, pdac cells and combine it with this primary stormer cells that basically composed of pancreatic stem cells and macrophages and allow them uh, for growth in the in a tube where uh, this custom ECM and their PDAC derived patient derived PDAC cells and the primary stormer cell mixtures is kept together and after some time this hydrogel cell assembly will occur and they can see that uh, this 3D culture can be done in this in vitro that is in the cell culture and drug testing can also be done so in this uh, in this experimental figure they have shown the results about the proliferations and uh, viability cell viability in this custom ECM so in the panel B they have uh, shown that uh, this encapsulation of this pancreatic cancer cells in the PA ECM is uh, been occurs that can be seen here that many encapsulated uh, many encaps encapsulated figures uh, can be seen here and after uh, sometimes they are also able to see this ductal colony growth that can be uh, seen here in the panel C where the ductal colony growth as can be seen and it uh, resembles to the actual pancreatic actual pancreatic cancer patients ductal colonies thereafter they check the viability assay after 14 days and they can see that the cells are viable which are stained with the green and the dead cells are stained with red so dead cells are very low compared to the uh, viable cells and they also check the proliferation characteristics using the uh, ka67 markers where which is shown here with the white uh, color so indicate that uh, cells pancreatic cancer cells also has the proliferation characteristics even after seven, day, seven days of their co-culture uh, with the co-culture of this pdac plus primary storm cells with this custom ecm and after that they want to check their ep chem signals which is which can be seen here that uh, ep chem signals are shown here in the green that is also uh, proliferating indicating that uh, and this is uh, one of one of the indications of one of the markers for the pancreatic cancer cells that can be uh, seen here it is also seen uh, can it is also seen to be in abundant and thereafter they check this alpha sma actins where the macrophages are shown uh, are usually uh, found to be in the spherical in colors and the stem cells are found to be in the elongated form and that things are validated from this alpha sma and cd66 cd68 that the cd68 signals are mostly uh, circular in shape or spherical in shape whereas alpha sma are mostly in the elongated so all this the com indicates that uh, 
this in this custom e custom design ECM not only the cells are able to survive but they can see that a proper mixing of the pancreatic cancer cells and stormer cells uh, similar to what people have observed in the actual patients and panel I is the merged image where we can see that the panel FGH are combined indicating that this and this kind of tumor macro environment or pancreatic cancer uh, behavior is similar uh, is similar uh, to what people have observed or people or researchers have observed in the actual pancreatic uh, pancreatic samples from the patients that are affected with the uh, pancreatic cancers so i hope you you got some of the understanding how they have validated their PAECM in vitro or uh, their, how their PAECM, PAECM can be used in the uh, for the cell culture of this pancreatic cancer cells. If you need to understand more about their validating approaches towards this PAECM in the, so that it can be used in this for the cell culture, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.